Well, hello, Dr. Redfin here, uh, Dr. Mark Everard, there's a Dr. Redfin t-shirt. I want to talk uh, in this video about quiver tipping in a summer river with sweet corn. Sweet corn is such a great summer bait for roach, also for dates, for chub, for grayling, because it's sweet and these fish seem to have a sweet tooth in the summer. It's, it's highly visual, uh, which is great for fish to see, as well as for us to sight fish with the bait. Also, it's tough. So when the minnows are going absolutely crazy, um, they don't rip it off the hook. So, you know, what's not to like about that? Um, also, it's easy. You just open a tin and it's there. So it doesn't take a lot of prep. So I, I, I'm going to just talk you through some of the ways I go about uh, pre-baiting and stalking and uh, catching summer fish on sweet corn. I hope you enjoy the video. I like to have some free offerings to throw into the river. And this tub contains some hemp cooked in the traditional way, some tears which were brought to the boil and left to soak overnight, and uh, a tin of drained sweet corn. Simple as that. Well, I'm going to talk you through some of the basics of tackle here on my kitchen table. There's nothing terribly complicated here. This is an Eyed 14 or 16 hook, I can't remember which, um, to which a small piece of plastic corn is attached. I like to use the plastic corn for two reasons. Firstly, it pops up the bait slightly, and uh, often the fish will take this piece of bait rather than the free offerings first. And I like an eyed hook when I've got a relatively small hook on a relatively heavy line. Now this is my basic roach quiver tip, but stepped up for what I call the grayling rig, simply because I'm using a three and a half pound bottom. And with a three and a half pound fine line, you can be in a situation where a whipping knot doesn't work terribly well. Uh, going up the trace, then we come to a stop bead. This is a, a sort of a rubber stopper on a, on a swivel. A run rig, so there's a nice lack of um, friction of the line passing through the real line. Uh, I've got a bomb here um, for grayling. When I'm using um, maggots, I'll use a, a swim feeder so that it's quickly interchangeable. And on really close and light um, fishing, I might even totally uh, get rid of a weight or a swim feeder and just use the weight of the run rig. Um, and then going up the line, we come to a fine quiver tip on, uh, on one of my many, many quiver tip rods. Here is a light quiver tip rod and balanced with um, a light, light fixed ball reel. This one has got 6.1 pound XTC line, but pretty much any low diameter line of around that weight will do. Why so heavy? Well, as I've mentioned, this is my grayling rig. When you hook a big grayling in a powerful river, you certainly know about it and it can uh, make a mess of your roach gear. Uh, but also with this type of fishing, there's a lot of weed in the river. You're often at close range, can be a bit hook and hold. So that's why I beef it up relative to my slightly finer roach rigs. So here is my tub of sweet corn with tares and hemp and I just chuck some out underneath these trees in a, in a jungle swim, the kind of swim where you really couldn't get away with a long float rod. And uh, I put a piece of real corn next to the buoyant plastic corn and that pops it up nicely and we flick it out into this jungle swim where, as I've said, you just wouldn't get away with a longish float rod. Uh, and I keep the tip very, very low to the water because I don't want the fish to run into the line. The joy, or one of the joys of sweet corn, is it's very visual. So you can actually sight fish rather than relying on the tip. But often the chub will ram rage you before anything else happens, which can be a little bit frustrating. But hey, in the summer, just sit back watch the aspen leaves tremble in the wind or move swims. I'll bait two or three swims and guess what in the next swim. I had another visitor, a brown trout, which loves sweet corn and further down the river, a dace. Well, I mean, who doesn't like a dace? So I really can't complain. Anyhow, back we go. Uh, we've rested the top swim. And what do I see? This gorgeous, gorgeous golden coloured roach. They, they gather carotenoid pigments all the summer feeding on insects, crustaceans, and uh, there it is, that's the result. So there it is, it's as simple as that, summer fishing for roach, dace, chub, grayling, trout, uh, whatever fancies a piece of sweet corn. 
when uh, when when the bait is particularly effective in a summer river and the fish are looking for something sweet, try it. Try it. You'll you'll enjoy it, and uh, you could surprise yourself with a few nice fish. Good luck.